Hello everyone, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Victorinox Super Tinker. Not the first with Simon Knife I've owned, but it's certainly the most recent. I uh, purchased this on Amazon for an amount that I can't remember. Um, but it wasn't expensive, it was £25-ish, I think. I'll, uh, I'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can uh, you can see that. What we're going to do today, I'm going to quickly walk you through the various functions, why I like this knife, uh, and then I'm going to be putting it in my pocket, and we'll see how much use I get out of it on what is a sunny Saturday daytime. So, there's millions of reviews of this, so I'm not going to dwell on the list of functions, but we'll quickly go over them. Uh, so what we've got, decent uh, Phillips, it's not in line, um, it's on the sort of T-handle, but you can get plenty of torque, so that's good. We've got the ever prevalent but completely pointless parcel hook, which I know there are so many people who have tried to find a use for this. Uh, there's loads of videos of, oh, this is good for X, Y, Z. Honestly, never use it, utterly pointless, but it's there. Uh, there's an awl for those, you know, times when you desperately need to do some sewing. Um, I think more useful is actually to use it for uh, kind of uh, basic drilling type stuff, maybe starting a hole, uh, using it as a bit of a punch. Uh, some people say you can use them as a package opener, never bothered. Um, but interesting enough to have. Uh, aside from that, we've got the usual scale tools. We've got a toothpick, which personally I quite like. Um, some people use it for other stuff. Tweezers, which are never the best tweezers in the world, but you know, sort of backup, get you there in a pinch, can sometimes be able to pull out a splinter if you're lucky. Uh, other things we've got, uh, we've got main tools then. So we've got the standard set of a bottle opener with a big flathead screwdriver and something that Victoria Knox claim is a wire stripper. We'll test that later. Um, and we've got the can opener with the small uh, flathead screwdriver again. I don't open very many cans. Maybe we'll try that uh, if I I don't know, one of ten of beans or something. We'll see. See where the mood takes me. It's, uh, it's still the morning. Maybe we'll have that for lunch. What else we got? We've got the fantastic Victoria Nuts Sivers. Is genuinely the highlight of any of these uh, tools for me, actually. Uh, probably some of the most used pair. This is the, the biggest set. You can get quite a lot of control holding the, uh, holding the tool in your hand and just using your thumb. Just a uh, sharp, accurate... Genuinely my favourite tool. Uh, and then we're into the blades. So we have the large main blade, uh, which I use as a sort of general purpose blade. Um, for the price of the knife, uh, I think the blade is quite good. It comes um, very sharp. Uh, people will complain about the blade steel, but I think for the, the price of these, like I say, I think this was around £25-ish. Uh, what was that like? $28, $30. Um, these are great. You know, they'll, they'll take an edge. Uh, they won't necessarily hold it, but they're easy to sharpen. So maybe we'll try sharpening it if we dull that through the day, but we'll see. One day should be fine. And then finally, we've got the little other blade, backup blade. Um, I know some people use these as like, oh, you know, use this for opening boxes, keep the main blade sharp for when you really need something sharp. Is it useful to have two blades? Not mainly for my use cases, but sometimes you just want to get the little one out. Maybe, uh, especially in the UK where we're, people are a bit funny about knives and things, uh, getting getting the smaller blade out can be less intimidating for people. So I said as well, because I'm in the UK, um, we can't carry uh, locking uh, a blade, a knife with a locking blade or a blade that is longer than three inches. This falls within that exception, which means this is legal to carry in the UK, um, at least by that law. Uh, you can come a cropper under some other laws if you're carrying it as an offensive weapon, but since this is a multi-tool and intended for everyday carry, useful, get you out of problems kind of stuff, uh, I've, I've never had any issues. So that's it. Right, this is going to go in my pocket, and we will see what use we get through the day. But for me, this is a nice pocket carry size. The three layer tool, uh, the three layer Victorinox, you know, the uh, what do they call the scales, Celador scales, I think. Um, 
probably the thickest knife I'd want to actually pocket carry. Uh, I've got a few others, which maybe we'll look at another time, um, which are a, a little bigger, a little more capable, but are not ones that are just going to sit in my pocket every day. Right, let's get this in the pocket. We'll go through the day and I'll film every time I use it. Let's go. Right, okay, first things first, I'm gonna be filming this for you guys. I need to put my tripod adapter onto the camera so I can use this with my various tripods. So I'm just gonna get that hand tight to start with. Pop open the, I'm gonna try and film this on the iPad because we've not got the camera. Uh, pop open the, Open the large screwdriver and then let's tighten this down, see how it goes. Uh, as you can see, it's not as large as you'd really want for this. These are designed for coins, or you can get special multi tools for cameras, but it'll do the job. And as with a lot of things, Swiss Army knife, it's just about doing the job well enough. Perfect, right? Just a quick update just finished uh, cleaning the car, washing the barbecue. So far, not had any major uses uh, for the Swiss Army knife. Um, but the second I need a screwdriver, a knife, bottle opener, anything like that, I'll let you know. Right, just walking through the garden and I've seen this branch which is uh, broken. Now I've got a big thing laying across here. Really wishing I had a multi tool with the saw, but let's try to tackle it with the knife. about Swiss Army knives, not conducive to two-handed opening, but if you get it so far, you can do it. Right, this is a really big branch. Uh, I'm not sure this is gonna work with a knife. Damn, so, absolutely no chance. I mean, I could start nicking it out and start trying to go through it, but you know, the blade is sharp, it will cut the wood, but at the end of the day, that's just too much for this particular tool. Ah, such a shame. Oh, saying that. I think at this point I'm just gonna try and snap it off. Um, okay, first fail for this tool. New package from Amazon. Let's get this open. No tear on this one. I think you all will know what we need. A Kniffy or knife. I'm gonna use a small blade for this one. Honestly, like a hot knife through butter. Right, so we've got a bit of a job here. This cupboard does, uh, for a while, not being particularly great, so we're gonna have a quick look, see what's going on. Excuse the whiskey, this is the beer cupboard. Okay. So I think the issue, if I just aim you up down a little bit. Is this. Hinge looks like it's got a bit of movement to it. Um, so what we'll do, get the all that. And we'll see if we can tighten it up. Move the whiskey. That's one thing with having a uh, uh, whatever the ninety degree Phillips is to move more stuff out of the way, that seems tight. It's tight enough. Oh, this is loose. Right, where does that need to be set? We'll set that similar to the top and hope that's something like, that would be straight down there. Maybe that's too much, maybe it's not. We'll find out.
that looks loads better. Okay, that's one win for the Super Tinker. Right, it is getting towards the end of the day. You've seen all the uses so far. Now to test the final one. We will get the cap lifter out. Cap lifter, I've got a bottle opener, whatever. And we are gonna go for Works a treat. Right, it's the end of the day. What do I think of this thing? Uh, it's great. Uh, There's a few things that it couldn't do, didn't have the capabilities, but I think for a small-ish, um, you know, smaller than like a Leatherman or something, especially around the house, urban kind of tool, I think it's brilliant. Um, and I'm gonna be carrying this a lot more. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this content, uh, you wanna see more reviews of multi-tools and various EDC kit. Uh, like, subscribe and all that kind of stuff and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.